Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lady FK Kitchen and you are highly welcome. So guys, in today's video, we are preparing a very delicious vegetable soup this soup is a must try for your home so in this weekend just go to the market buy vegetable and prepare a very delicious vegetable soup for your family so guys if today is your first time of seeing my video or coming across my video this lady fk i make videos from lagos nigeria i make cooking video and monk bank videos so if you want to see more of me click on that red button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified immediately i upload a new video so if you want to know how i make this yummy soup keep on watching So here is my water leaf. I've already sliced and washed all my vegetable, my ingredients. This is my ugo leaf. I've already washed and cleaned this leaf. So here is my meat. I'm using cow beef. I'm using isam periwinkle, guys. This is a must try for your vegetable. This is my cow skin. And my stock fish. This is my dry panda egg. I just grilled this fish. Right here is my dry prawn. My crayfish. And my palm oil. So in this bowl, I have my dry fish over here. I have my two stock cube, my garlic, and my uh, Scott bonnet pepper. You can use any quantity that you want. This is the much that I'm using, and my two onions, and my salt to taste. So I've already added my stock fish, onions, and my cow skin inside my pot. So I'll just add my stock cube to it and my salt to taste. So I'll just give it a stir. I'll stir it together. So notice at this moment, I didn't add water to it. So I just want to cook this meat just like this for at least 15 to 20 minutes for the water to dry out of the meat so that then by then you have that taste in your meat. After then you can add more water to it if you want to cook it further. So as the meat is cooking, I'll just go ahead and blend my pepper onions and other ingredients together so as you can see my meat has been cooking for 15 minutes there's no water inside my meat everything i've cooked and dry inside my meat so i'll just stir it together We are still going to cook this meat for another 15 to 20 good minutes guys so i'll add my water to it i add my cow skin and i'll add my periwinkle my isam inside my pot So I'll just stir it together. So I'm going to cover this pot and allow you to cook for additional 20 minutes. 
So guys, this has been cooking for 20 minutes. I added a little more water off camera for the meat to cook very well. So I'll just give it a stir. So this is my blended pepper and my crayfish, ginger, uh, garlic and my onions. So I'll just pour it inside my pot. I just blended my pepper roughly. I don't want it to be too smooth. So I will just stir it together. So I'm adding my dry fish to it now. And my palm oil guys this is vegetable soup you have to be very generous with your palm oil that you're adding to your soup add enough palm oil because this is the water that the soup is going to be having we don't need to add extra water to it so i'll just cover it and allow it to boil for at least five minutes so guys this is after five minutes So our meat and other ingredients have cooked proper. You know, by the time we start, we added our vegetable. Don't need to cook those meat anymore, too much. So at this stage, you need to make sure that your meat is soft to your taste. If you feel that the meat is not soft enough, you can add more water. Because after you add your vegetable, you can add more water to it. So as you can see, there is no water on it. I'll just add my water leaf to it. So guys, as you can see, I'm cooking a very large pot of soup. <laughs> you can cook it the way you want to cook. Or you must not cook it the way I'm cooking it. But being, I like vegetable soup. Anytime I want to prepare vegetable soup, I always like preparing it in a large quantity. So I'll just scoop it in my plate and keep it inside the fridge. I eat it anytime. So our water leaf has cooked enough. So I'll just give it a good stir. Just set it proper. Did you see that plenty water leaf that I just added to this, uh, to my pot now? You just as if the thing just disappeared, just like that. When I added it, I was even afraid that this soup would be too much, you guys. Did you see that? It's as if the thing just disappeared, just like that. So I'll just give it a good stir. So at this moment, I will just add the two stock cube that is remaining. That is two in one, the remaining one stock cube. I added one before, so this is the remaining one that I'm adding. So I'm just going to add my dry fish to it. And my prawn. So I'll just stir everything together. I will just stir it to combine. So I'll cover this pot now for at least five minutes more for it to at least the fish to soak all the uh, nutrients inside this pot. So do you see how bubbly this my soup is? So I'm just adding my ugo leaf to it now. That is my punky leaf. I'm just adding it to it. So I'll just add it badge by badge. So let me just stir this first and see if I'll add more to it or I'll just leave it just like this.
Wow, you can see if I will still add to it. So I'll just add a little more. Let me just add everything to it. So that I will not waste my leave. By the time I keep uh, the remaining one now, maybe I will not use it. So let me just add everything to it. It will not be too much. So I've added everything. I'll just stir it together. I want my soup to be more. So when I'm eating it, just little swallow and enough vegetable and you eat very well so guys So that is all. I will just at least cover it for at least two minutes. I've already added my ugo leaf to it. I don't need to cook this soup anymore. Just cover it for it to simmer a little. At least I cover it for three minutes and my soup is ready guys. You don't need to overcook your vegetable at all. So at this moment I will just turn off my heat. Our soup is good as ready. Our soup is done, guys. So this soup, you can use it to eat anything. Even white rice, boiled yam, any swallow of your choice, a bag, fufu, semovita, semolina, anything that you feel. This soup is fat. You can, you can serve it, you can serve it as stew, you can serve it as soup. Whatever way you want to serve it, you can even serve it in your plate without eating any swallow. You can just serve it in your plate and eat it as a meal. Yes, it's good as that. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new and interesting video so you'll be the first to be notified okay guys so without wasting much of your time i will see you guys in my next video so for now stay blessed love one another bye bye